welcome back to my YouTube channel or hello there if you haven't been here before. My name is Emma Bia and as you can tell for this tutorial we've gone a bit more glam um, but maybe a bit more simple in some people's eyes. I've decided to look like I've just sort of I'm waiting for cosmetic surgery. Uh, don't put the bandage on as tight as I have I feel like I'm literally strangling myself or like I don't know my face has just gone all together but this is actually part one of the look. Part two is coming tomorrow and that's gonna be super fun. Um, we're gonna bring the SFX out, baby. So if you want to know how I got part one of this look, please keep watching. So to start off with this look, I've already primed my face. I'm gonna go in with my eyes first. And I'm gonna go in with a new eye primer that I've got from Winky Lux. It's in the color medium. And it just comes in this really cute little Things like a little tester type bottle here. I'm just going to go put that with my fingers just on the lids of my eyes. And then I'm just going to do like a very basic eye because there's obviously gonna be, there's so much going on the rest of the face. So with that we're going to go in with this Steve Laurent eyeshadow palette. And then with this colour we're just going to brush it all over the eyelid. And to do that, I'm going to take two brushes. I'm going to take this eyeshadow brush by MAC first, just to sort of press the colour onto the eye. And then I'll go in with my fluffy blending, blending brush to sort of blend out any harsh lines. But if you, as, you, as you'll see, this colour is so pigmented and so beautiful. It almost is a bit, you know, it's a great sort of full... Halloween colour. And once you're done with the eyeshadow, usually I would just go in with mascara, but just to make this look a little bit more bougie, because we all like to be a little bit bougie, don't we? I'm gonna go in with some falsies, AKA fake eyelashes. I'm gonna be taking the Isle Your London Dramatic Edition Lashes. These are the Full and Bold number 126. They are quite dramatic, or at least quite dramatic for me anyway. Um, it's Halloween, you know. We're gonna go all out. Don't know how many accents were in those two words there, but anyway. Um, lashes, I'm gonna be honest, I find a bit of a faff. I'm not very good with sort of pernickety things. So I'm gonna do them, and then when I've got them on, I'll continue with the rest of the look. So my eyes are done now. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go in with the rest of my face. So I'm going to go in first with my foundation. And that is True Match from L'Oreal in the colour 3D3W. And then with my damp beauty blender, I'm going to apply that to my whole face. And then next I'm going to go in with my concealer and I'm going to take the Wake Me Up by Rimmel. It's in the colour Ivory. I'm just going to put that on all the places that I would normal, normally conceal. And then I'm going to go in and set this all with my powder and bronzer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my matte translucent powder by Essence and my fluffy powder brush and just go in and sort of set all the concealer parts. And I'm going to go in with my Hoola Benefit bronzer and my contour brush. And then finally, I'm just going to go in quickly with my brows. I'm not going to do anything too much to them because a lot of that is going to be sort of... You'll see. I'm just going to take my Gimme Brow Plus Brow Gel in the colour O2 by Benefit. And then just quickly, sort of... Not quickly, but just very simply put that over my brows. So now that my brows are done and sort of everything in terms of like my face is done, I'm going to go in with the sort of plastic surgeon, as you could say, 
type lines. For this, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. liquid liner. And I'm just gonna use the ink for this. And I'm gonna go in with this tiny little paintbrush. I don't know if you can see, it's literally tiny. And just take some of the ink from the eyeliner. And then draw on the lines. Well, it looks like we're gonna have a skew with nose. So I'm happy with my lines there. The only thing left to do now is my lips in terms of makeup. So I'm just going to take, I think, a Argent Provocateur um, lipstick. And it's in the coolest packaging. And this is in the color Showstopper. Look at that beautiful color. And that's my makeup now done for this look. But one thing I want to add, because I just think it just makes it extra cooler, is I'm gonna add some bandages or bandage and add it round sort of my head. Just made my face look really fat though because I've done it so bloody tight. Oh god, it's too damn tight. Oh crikey. But yeah, um, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you tomorrow for part two.